Shout out to my guy, Braylon. We was talking about the, we were talking about Aaron Glenn. He mentioned Aaron Glenn. He said, Derek, I think you should make a video about AG. I've been meaning to make one, but I was just hadn't got around to it. So the question that I have for you guys, I don't know what Aaron Glenn's contract situation is looking like. I don't know how long he has as far as, is this his last year? Is he got two, three years left? But Aaron Glenn, if the fire wasn't under him before this year, do you think it's under him now? The Detroit Lions have shored up the cornerback position. They may not be done in the secondary. I think we need a safety, but we'll see. I don't know if they go cornerback. I don't know if they do anything. I saw an article about Stephon Gilmore. He was saying if he was younger, he'd think he would be signed already, but he wants to make sure he got the right fit. And I don't think we're the right fit anymore, not after our draft. We got just a cornerback you back there. So I think we'll do safety before anything else. But is Aaron Glenn, even though, okay, let's hold on now. Let's, let's, let's think about this because I want to get y'all a thorough answer. All right, because see, I, I get under a lot of pressure during the offseason, but during the season, everything plays out. Right. So I want you to think very carefully about this answer. No excuses. So that you're so you're saying that if you're saying that Aaron Glenn has no excuses, that means that the Detroit Lions right now during the making of this video at 513 on May 9th, 2024, that he's done enough on this roster for Aaron Glenn to not get fired. So here's a part two of that question. The Detroit Lions were ranked 23 or four in sacks. They were stout against the run. They were top five. They were 27th against the pass. I don't know what their overall defense was. I do know that for the past two years, it's been in the late 20s, like the low 20s, I believe. So my question to you is, what does Aaron Glenn have to do for, for his job to be secure past 2024? In your eyes, is it, where does the defense have to rank? Is it specifically past defense? Do you need to see improvement? How much so? If we were ranked, I don't know, if our past defense was ranked 27, does it need to be ranked 20? So does anybody know where we were at the end of the year. Where were we were? Where did the Detroit Lions overall defense end? Because I didn't pull it up. Where did it end at the end of the year? Was it top 15? Was it top 20? Was it top 25? Okay, so says top 15. Josh says top 15. Master, what's up, Master? Says defense needs to be top 10. Sun says 27. No, that was our past D. Was our overall D 27th as well? What was our overall defense? So you got points. You got all when you put everything together. What was our? I know we ranked 24th in sacks. I think it was 23 or 24. Braylon says top 19. I need the defense to pass the eye, uh, the eye test. Rashad with the dono. I appreciate you, bro. Says, do you believe our roster is good to win the first seed grid. Ooh, sorry, that's a good question, bro. I'm going to come back to that. Let's finish this real quick, though. So, Aaron Glenn, is he out of excuses? And here's a better question. Okay, Denzel says our overall was 25. Our overall was 25. Okay. Hmm. I had to meditate. I had to do a breathing exercise on stream because I'm trying. I don't want to blow a gasket. All right. I got to save my voice. If our defense was 25 overall, do you understand how bad our defense was overall? If we were top three against the run, we were 27th against the pass. We were 23rd ranking in number of sacks. And our overall defense was 25? So I'm going to say it. For me, Aaron Glenn got to be top 15. He got to be top. I'm talking about 13, 12, borderline 10. Are you kidding? 25? Is that, is that right? Is that a real number? So 
Our overall defense was two spots higher than our past defense. So do you understand what that means? That means points allowed was ridiculous. The only good metric in our defense was stopping the run. That's it. Okay, so put it in the comment section below. Aaron Glenn, is his job safe? Has Brad Holmes done enough where now he's out of excuses, meaning Aaron Glenn? And if that is the case, where does the defense overall, what metric for you has to stand out? Is it sacks? Is it is it pressures? Is it secondary? Is it pass defense? Is it run defense? For me, he's been out of excuses. He's been out of, he was supposed to get fired over Aubrey Pleasant. And now that's becoming more and more apparent. So you got to pick a side here because y'all don't like to hear this, but it's the truth. If y'all saying Brad Holmes has done enough, that means Aaron Glenn got to pay the piper. If y'all saying he hasn't done enough, that means Brad Holmes got some work to do. So for me, I think it's a little bit of both. And I think, Dan, you can sprinkle in some Dan Campbell for not wanting to get on his friend. You know what I'm saying? So for me, all right, so I'm going to leave you with this, with this question. And we, this is going to be a cliffhanger question because I'm not going to give you the answer. Lions have the same defense. Let's say pass defense is 23. We're now 19 in sacks. Run defense is two. Overall defense is 22. Lions make the Super Bowl. Is Aaron Glenn the defensive coordinator in 2025?